Hello and welcome to True Crime Rocket Science, the most authentic voice in true crime. A new YouTube channel that was created six days ago on August 19, just prior to Kylie's vehicle being found, has posted two shorts, both just a few seconds long, revealing more of the sights and sounds of the infamous Prosser party. I'll put a link to that site in the description so you can watch all of that yourself. There has been some speculation of late that if there was a party, Kylie wasn't there, or it wasn't very big, or that Kylie wasn't intoxicated. I'm not sure why it's so difficult to imagine that it was a big party, or that Kylie was there, or that she was intoxicated, um, or that she got into a vehicle and that's why there was an accident. In any event, this footage helps get a sense of the vibe, and particularly the music and the scale of what they're doing in the parking lot. I think it gives a sense of just how hardcore these kids are going at it. Although it's hard to make out individual faces, one gets a Lord of the Flies sense of a really big party that does seem somewhat out of control. Isn't that one of the themes in Lord of the Flies? Kids going out of control in nature. In one brief clip, a vehicle seems to be doing donuts in a confined space while someone hangs out the driver's side window. In another video, we get a brief glimpse of a roiling mass of young people packed tightly together beneath trees. By the sheer number of phones incidentally captured in the footage, it's clear there's still a lot of footage out there. Not a surprise, but it expands our portrait of the final night and the final hours of Kylie's life. My sense is that it appears to be a crazy party full of hijinks, and Kylie was probably loving it, surrounded by others clearly enjoying themselves too. But that said, there seems to be, as someone on Patreon put it, some dangerous messing around with cars at the party. One would imagine spinning donuts like you see in the footage would leave tracks, although there's not much dust. Did law enforcement see these tracks? Youngsters with cars tend to drive faster and more recklessly than they should with predictable results. Anyway, I've heard some people saying we will never know what happened, and I think, but I think each day we are getting a much better idea, much clearer idea of what happened. I really don't think it's this big mystery. What I, what I find quite interesting but also disturbing is this sort of strange contest between these young people there who no, no one really came forward and the people on social media were sort of pursuing them. There's this weird distrust, mutual distrust, I think, both ways. It sort of feels like young people who don't trust the authorities and don't trust adults and adults who don't trust, I think, anybody, the authorities, the young people, um, the media, um, it's, isn't it a sign of a society that is quite fragmented, a society that is distrustful, a society that's anxious, a society that just wants to be happy, but is also, I guess, desperate to escape its own circumstances. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Thank you for listening and I'll see you guys next time.